Today we're going to show you how to create an iTunes account for a different country to where you actually are. There's two ways to do this. Here we're going to show you how to do it for free, but that means that you'll only be able to do free downloads using the account. The other way to do it, you need to use an iTunes code, a gift code, for the country. So you'd have to buy a code and then use that to create the account. If you want to do it that way, there's a link in the description at the bottom. Uh, click on that and watch our other video shows you how you need to do that way. So, to create the free account, first thing you need to do is make sure you're connected to a VPN for the country that you're actually creating the account for. So, I'm in the UK, but I'm going to create a US iTunes account. So, I've already connected to a US VPN so that it appears to Apple that I'm actually in the US. If you don't use a VPN, that will get blocked and you won't actually be able to set the account up. Again, there's a link in the description to uh, give you a bit more information about using a VPN. So, first thing to do is scroll to the very bottom and click on this flag icon uh, in the bottom right. That takes you to a list of all the countries that have an iTunes store, so you can choose any one of these countries to set an account up for. I'm setting it up for the US, so I'll go back to the top and just click on United States there. That pings you back to the uh, iTunes uh, homepage storefront, but this time I'm in the US storefront, so it just looks a little bit different. From there, you just need to go to the App Store. Um, Click on this link here, choose App Store. Once you're in the App Store, just scroll down and on the right here, there's a different kind of top 10 charts. The one you're looking for is Top Free Apps. There. Just hover over any of those and then click Get. Because you don't already have an account and you're not logged in, this comes up and you just click create new Apple ID. Click continue on the next page. And then check at the top here that the country is the actual country that you want to set the account up for. If it's not, you can click there to change it again. All the way at the bottom, tick the box and click agree. And on the next page, just enter your email address. Just make sure you enter a real email address that you're able to check because they send um, a confirmation email there and you need to be able to click on the link in the email to verify your account before you can actually use it. So enter your password, enter the uh, security questions. Again, make sure you remember the answers to these security questions because you do need them to confirm your account sometimes. Or if you forget your password, you need to use them to reset your account and get a new password uh, sent out. Click continue. On the next page, you'll see non is selected as the default payment option. That's because we've done it this way via a free app. If you don't do it that way, that you can't click on none and you have to enter payment details. So it's important you do that step about the free app. So next thing to do and the final thing to do is just to enter an address. This is just one I got from Google Maps. So just look one up, use any address and pop that in. If you use the Florida address, it's actually better than using any other state because they don't charge uh, sales tax on downloads. So that's quite handy saves you a bit of money if you ever do start using it uh, for paid downloads. Click create Apple ID and then the only thing you need to do to start using your account is check your email and click on the verification code in the email. Um, after that you can just start making downloads using the account however you want. You don't have to worry about using a VPN the next time you log in. It makes no difference. It's only when you actually create the account that you need to use a VPN. And once you start using the account, all the apps you've downloaded, things you've got, just appear in your iTunes exactly the same as normal and alongside your other downloads from your own country. So works really easily and don't need to use a VPN next time you log in.